Let's talk about productivity, and specifically, the single most important book that I've come across on how to become more productive. It was the management guru Peter Drucker who once said, efficiency is doing things right, but effectiveness is doing the right things. And if you can get yourself to do the right things as opposed to simply doing things right, then your productivity will skyrocket and the results that you're looking for, not only in terms of work and money, but also in terms of your spirituality, your relationships, every aspect of your life can benefit enormously when you apply this principle, the principle of the one thing. So here's what author Gary Keller says. If everyone had the same number of hours in a day, why do some people seem to get so much more done than others? How do they do more, achieve more, earn more, have more? If time is the currency of achievement, then why are some people able to cash in their allotment for more chips than others? The answer is, they simply make getting to the heart of things the heart of their approach. They go small. Going small is ignoring all the things you could do and doing what you should do. You only have so much time and energy, so when you spread yourself out, you end up spread thin. You want more achievements to add up, but that actually takes subtraction, not addition. You need to be doing fewer things for more effect instead of doing more things with side effects. So when you think about success, shoot for the moon. The moon is reachable if you prioritize everything and put all of your energy into accomplishing the most important thing. Getting extraordinary results is all about creating a domino effect in your life. And this is my favorite line in the entire book. Extraordinary success is sequential, not simultaneous. What starts out linear becomes geometric. You do the right thing and then you do the next right thing. Over time, it adds up and the geometric potential of success is unleashed. I'm sure many of you have heard of this concept of the Pareto Principle, the idea that 20% of everything that you do ends up giving you 80% of the results in your life. But this idea applies in literally every aspect, every corner of our lives, even more so in business. The idea that 20%, the top 20% in any workforce ends up making 80% of the money. The top 20% of the top 20% makes up 80% of that demographic. They make up a higher tier. And so our objective in general should be to take on work, take on activities that are of that top 20%. And as far as this book goes, the top 20% of that top 20% and the top 20% of the top 20% of that top 20%. Which is to say, the more you can harness in one direction, into one focal point, essentially coming up with one thing, one action, one result that you're working towards, if you can break it down into one little tier that is the most effective action to be taken right now, then your productivity, it'll be incredible. And I felt compelled to talk about this idea of choosing the one thing because of the enormous results it's brought in my life in the last two months. I've been trying to get a promotion at work. I've been trying to upgrade from being just a digital marketing manager to becoming a technical consultant, to becoming more and more integrated in CRM, customer relation management. Since two months ago, I made it my singular objective to get one certification. One certification that I identified that would make me singularly way more valuable in my workforce. And I've been committing a little bit of time every day over the last two months. I've been studying Salesforce over the last year, but over the last two months, I've been really aggressively learning it. And the hilarious thing is a year's worth of effort didn't hold a candle to what I've been able to do in the last eight weeks. Once I identified my focal point, the one thing that I needed to learn above all else to make my career move forward, I was able to make that transition immediately, almost immediately. I'm now taking on the position of a technical consultant rather than just being in digital marketing, which is where my career sort of started out. I was able to play this principle out in real time in my life and I'm blown away by the potency of it. When you can find out the one thing that you need to either learn or implement or strive for the one goal one objective that you need to take on if you take that capacity into your work then you can make way faster progress essentially I made a year's worth of progress in two months just by identifying the one skill I needed to know the most right now and after having seen this play out in real time I'm actually quite excited to see what might happen in my career if I continually aggressively apply this principle the principle of identifying one thing one objective one action and then taking it on with dead aim achievers operate differently they have an eye for the essential they pause just long enough to decide what matters and then allow what matters to drive their day. There will always be just a few things that matter more than the rest, and out of those, one will matter most. Internalizing this concept is like being handed a magic compass. Whenever you feel lost or lacking direction, you can pull it out to remind yourself to discover what matters most. 
The author lays out this really beautiful idea of a domino effect. Dominoes have a potency to basically break down greater forces by using leverage, 45% or so with each domino that's toppled over. And so when a series of dominoes start cascading down, the effects of that latter domino onto the next domino has a greater effect. And this principle of the domino effect actually plays out with the one thing. This is sort of the compound effect in a way as well, but it's more tactical. It's a more tactical application of the compound effect. The compound effect, of course, is this idea that when you consistently do a certain discipline over and over, its effects will become magnified over time, both in a positive direction and a negative direction. But when you combine the compound effect with the one thing, in other words, when you consistently identify what your next one thing is, and you do that with dead aim to the exclusion of everything else, if other opportunities and impetuses make their way to you, you defer them or postpone them indefinitely until your one thing is accomplished. Once you get on that track and you do the next one thing and then the next one thing, the results become geometric. And this is how people really cascade to the heights of enormous achievement to the top 10% or even the top 1% of whatever career they're interested in is because they identify what their one thing is and then they move on to doing the next thing. The author lays out this really beautiful question about how you can identify what your one thing is and then he breaks it down in terms of the goals you'd want to do someday. What do you want to do someday? Someday I'd like to do this thing. I'd like to have this experience. You can make your someday goal as big as you want. If you're a musician you can set the goal of one day selling a platinum record. With detachment you can set that goal. But then break it down. In order for that to happen someday, what is the most important objective that I could achieve in five years? If you determine what the most important objective you could achieve in five years, then identify what's the most important objective I could achieve in one year. What's the most important thing I can do this month? What's the most important thing to accomplish the thing I wanna do this month? What's the most important thing I can do this week? And then this day, and then this hour. What's the most important thing I can do right now? When you take that domino effect and you pull it back from that someday goal of selling a platinum record as a musician or whatever enormous goal you have being a number one New York Times bestseller to become a YouTuber with a million subscribers or 10 million subscribers as big as the goal is pull it back from someday into the most important thing you could achieve in five years one year one month one week today this hour Bring those dominoes back and then harness the energy of the one thing, the most important thing that you could be doing right now. Come back to that and then operate with deadly focus on that one thing. Because once you've identified it, nothing else is as important. Productive people get more done, achieve better results, and earn far more in their hours than the rest. They do so because they devote maximum time to being productive on their top priority. They time block their one thing and then protect their time with a vengeance. They've connected the dots between working their time blocks consistently and the extraordinary results they seek. A number of successful people, perhaps every successful person really, uses this principle, either directly or indirectly. One such person is Stephen King, the author. Stephen King only has one objective with each day, which is to block out the first four hours of his day to write. Anything else can happen, his workflow can have other tasks in it, but really if he writes that day for four hours, sits down, wrestles with the page, wrestles with the blank screen, if he goes about writing for that day, the day was a success. He did his one thing. And if he doesn't, eventually time would expose him. He would not be the prolific writer he is. How the fuck do you write so many books so fast? <laughs> uh, I try to get out there and I try to get six pages a day. There are, of course, other authors who are successful, but few have the consistency of Stephen King. Stephen King has a tremendous output and his books consistently show up on bestseller lists. Why? Because Stephen King very, very rarely neglects his one thing. His one thing of blocking out four hours a day to do his single most important task, which is to write. And so you can apply this question of the one thing in every demographic, every aspect of your life. The question is, what's the one thing I can do such that by doing it, everything else will become easier or unnecessary? Apply this to your spiritual life. What's the one thing that I can do in my spiritual life so that everything else will become easier or unnecessary? For me, 40 minutes of meditation a day. Nothing else matters. My one thing is 40 minutes of meditation. Then you don't have to worry about all the other tangential disciplines. You don't have to worry about relying on willpower. You don't have to worry about being in accordance with God or speaking your truth. If you meditate 40 minutes a day, at least what I found, 
That's your one thing in terms of spiritual life. Your spiritual life will be handled by sheer alignment with the universe. For physical health, what is the one thing? For a lot of people, there are different answers to this, but for me, it's fasting 16 to 20 hours a day. If I do a deep amount of fasting every day, generally speaking, I aim for about 16 hours, but if I'm motivated, I'll go up to about 20 maybe once a week, 24 hours, then my body will have gone through some level of autophagy. I'll have activated a higher level of gr human growth hormone. And I just, I can tell that I'm getting stronger and leaner when I keep that principle in play. For your business, job, and finances, what's the one thing there? What I've identified as the one thing is to learn for one hour a day or 30 minutes a day even, but to consistently upgrade your skills. Nothing will give you a higher ROI than investing in your education, investing in learning in-demand skills. Your 401k cannot compete with you investing in yourself. The, the rate of return is definitely higher when it comes to learning skills that are in demand and applying them in the workforce. And so for every aspect of your life, and especially in the places where you're trying to get insurmountable results, where you have goals deep down that are huge, don't neglect the goals. Just apply the compound effect and identify those dominoes that you can tumble over. If you want to go platinum, if you want to win a Grammy, if you want to be an Oscar winning actor, what can you do? Dial that back to today. What's the one thing I can do today to get me to that goal someday? It's the single most powerful concept that, that I identified on productivity because productivity isn't just about being super efficient and checking off boxes. Although that's fun and definitely important at times, a higher purpose, a higher leverage of your time is to identify, prioritize, and then strike like a fucking demon. That's it for today. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nick Hill. This channel is about combining Eastern spirituality with Western productivity, also deriving a lot of inspiration from cinema, novels, storytelling in general. If that appeals to you, consider subscribing. And with that being said, for those of us who are willing to prioritize and strike, to us I say, greatness is coming. I'll see you guys Sunday. Cheers. I like